Okay, welcome to the playthrough of Secure by Tumblr. This is... I don't really know what this game is. It's apparently a block-pushing game with a mysterious goal. Press X to proceed after solving the level. So, I don't know, just put them at the ends, I guess? Nice background art style. In a corner? Not all of them seem to be in corners, I guess. There's some... Okay, I can't move through those. I think this one goes... We should test this. Just put this in this... No, no, I can't even test if uh, it counts if the two boxes are adjacent to each other. Doesn't it look like... Well, I think we need to move this away first so we can use that tunnel for other purposes to push this here. And now... Um, well, this is like, does that count? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I guess only, I don't know, only one open edge or something. I don't know how that's calculated, really. So then we'll get stuck if I do it that way. So it seems like it's not good to do that, but these kind of get trapped if it's like this. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. And try this, I guess. Let's move it this way so we can have this accessible to me. And I think all of them are going roughly like this. There you go. There's one corner. I'm not really sure where the other corners are in this one. Certainly not this. Like, what counts as a corner? Okay. See, does it just mean there's two open passages or something? No, because all these have two open passages, so... No, I don't quite understand what the goal of this is. I guess we can lock these in the corner. Uh, wait, is this good to be up here? No, I thought I could move it down, but I guess maybe not. We, we're gonna have to, like, push one of these out no matter what. So it says uh, escape to go to the level select and replay levels we've already solved, but... Do they need to have, like, equal amounts of... Well, we've already tried equal. Here... I don't know, it looks sufficiently odd to to look at. It's like an even weirder thing where they all have to be on the same line. No. Here? No. Not like that. I am so confused what the goal of this game is. Like, it looked like you were putting things in corners, but... We got it stuck here, here, and here in this one. Like, one of these must go out. That either locks it over here, or... Like, do it have to touch? Because they're not touching right now. There's no way you can get them to touch at all. This one seems to have the most freedom in terms of, you know. Like, the way the boxes can go to. That counts. That counts. 
Do they also make it like a square with their surroundings? Okay, that works. Technically all those make a square with their surroundings. That counts? Okay, let's pretend that it's uh, making a square with its surroundings. Um, like that sort of locks it, but not really. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, you can. Okay, got it. Well, I got it in, in some sense, I think. Because we can now do this. There we go. Now we just got this here. What? No. No. What? Huh? 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 D does it care about these all of a sudden? Okay, let's just put everything in the same... What? What just happened? Okay, that does not even work. Like, I'm going to assume that those little... The things where the boxes can't go over is not relevant. Huh? Um, well... There was some kind of weird inversion thing in the geometry the last time. Or I guess we could have most of these in a square, right? But the issue with that is like... What the hell? Okay... What if it counts as solving a level if I get to the finish but don't count, count it? Well, it's hard to tell. Nope. It doesn't... If it's anything about making squares, it doesn't count towards, um... It doesn't count with these involved, at least. Welcome to the nonsense factory. Where we love nonsense. Okay, that didn't actually tell me anything. That was as expected as it could possibly be. No. Is it they can't move? Is that that is that the only thing? We're gonna have trouble making things not oh. Okay, now they can't move. Nope, that can still move, right? Hmm. Perhaps the three of them needed more synergy. I can still move the middle one, that's why. There we go. Okay, so I think that's the rule. You can't... They must be unable to move. That's why the floors didn't seem to interact. Yes. Huh. You can try to fill up a tunnel, I guess. But that will not work. We'll need to find five or some split variation of five that can't move. 
Bearstuck things can never move. This is really interesting. I can't believe I've never seen this idea before, but... Like, if you do this, things will always... Hmm, I guess maybe... No, this is still a um, way to move, unfortunately. Wait, on the top? No, it's not. I don't think it's on the top. You can try, but... Yeah, now it can't be moved. But now we have to deal with twos. Puzzle's not that of twos. There we go. Some things are locked here. So... Hmm. Does that... Does that count? That would be interesting because, like, it would rely on our player position as well. So it's almost like trapping ourselves would be as good as... Um, as trapping the boxes. Well, it can, seems like you can make this go over, but I'm not sure what, what that good that does, right? And these are going to have trouble getting moved a little bit. Maybe something like this. Nope. Hmm. I like that that's trapped. Now this box is room to move. Oh, it can be stuck in the top right. Okay. There we go. So it is very dependent on ourself. Do you do you do the standard? Cool. It does def definitely depend on player position. Well, oh, there's one. There's a box outside. A box. Okay, we need to trap ourselves inside this small box. I think because there's no way that like. There's no way we can prevent ourselves from touching that. Uh, like the box outside. Oh, that was the end. Okay. That was cool, the little mechanic discovery that was going on, but I eventually got it. Even though I was thinking of stuff like, what if the box is to be all in a line and stuff like that? There we go. That was nice. Nice short experience. Uh, pretty, pretty fun.